Anyone sensing any road rage there? I really thought this would change by now. Good morning, farmers. We're harvesting our fields again. And I'm going to start with these two fields here. And see if we can hire someone to plow them as I go over the hill. I just tried to hire someone to harvest one of those fields down there and they it's not accessible or it's too big which whatever but the field above it was able to hire a worker so I'm not quite sure I thought the field next to the row was unaccessible or too big that the other field wouldn't be able to be harvested by a worker but not sure what's really going on there so we're gonna see our money going up shortly up yep, there we go so we got someone harvesting one of the fields down over the hill I don't know why they can get the, the more complicated one, not the easier one. Uh, I didn't try these two fields here. But when I get done harvesting these two fields, we shall see if someone can plow these two. One or two, whatever. And then I gotta go over the hill and harvest uh, the one way down by the road. So I think today we should have no problem getting back over the million euro mark. Oh yeah, and also after the last episode I cultivated that small field we bought way over in the other corner. Uh, I could maybe see if I can hire someone to plant something over there. and It's nothing I, I feel I really need to work in. It's just a small field, but it's a field maybe we can make some money on now and then. So next time I go to hire help I'll see if I can have someone plant something over there. Uh, I don't want to do wheat or barley because uh, that'll leave a, a swath of straw to pick up. And I don't want to drive way down there with a baler. Just come way back and get a trailer. and So we'll, we'll probably plant something. <laughs> we'll plant something. No sense of having a field just sitting there. It's only a three-quarter hectare field anyways. So it's not like we're losing that much money or whatever from it. So I had an advance actually a few days to get these fields to be harvested. Uh, it is the 11th? 11th of June. So just... Uh, I'm trying to remember if we planted the, these uh, fields on the 11th of April. It's usually about two months. But we also have to take consideration back then when I was doing it, there was no helper system. So by the time I harvested these fields, plowed and cultivated and got to seeding them, I don't know, it could have been 11 days, I don't, I'm not sure. But it is just right around two months for your crops to turn to harvest after you plant them. I did do a few house inspections since the last episode. So if you're keeping well enough track and you see the social points up a little bit, that's where those extra points came from. I want to say I did maybe like a handful of them, but only one was the decent payout one. So maybe I got like 1,500 social points in total. I did uh, paint the harvester before we started harvesting today. It kind of matched the, the header. But as we know, the harvester will default back to its original color if I restart the game. And I didn't want to pick up the header. I wanted to do this. So I'm still trying to figure out the rhyme or reason why some fields are workable, some aren't. I'm not sure if the devs just didn't get into coding the workers to get to certain fields. 
Um, like I said in the last episode, I haven't really heard anything from the devs for a while, so they really haven't answered. Some people have asked questions about why some fields are not accessible or can't be worked in. So I'm just going to say they got some fields coded in, other ones they haven't, is what I'm going to say. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I mean, the way I look at it is at least we got some helper system in the game to help us move along at a more reasonable pace to keep up with the fields that we have. Right now, depending on how many workers we can hire today to harvest these fields, our main goal is just to hire the, I mean, uh, hire, uh, harvest these five lupine fields. So we got these two here, and we got the three over the hill. And of course, if we can hire someone to start plowing, that'd be great. I also need to check on the fields down at the other end. Uh, we have three maize fields that could be ready. I'm not sure. They, I don't think they will be, but you got to keep track of your farm. And the farm stats really don't help you out too much. I've had some issues with the farm stats not showing up until you actually check the field yourself. So like right now, it says I got five lupine fields, only three are ready to harvest. Well, I know that all five are ready to harvest. And see, it says those three maize fields are not ready, but since we are here, uh, nope, not ready. So I'm going to say they're all not ready. So this is where the worker is. He's doing this field here. I tried to hire one for here, so you couldn't, I can't hire a worker for this field, but I can hire a worker for this field. And of course we got the tiny little field here as well, and I don't want to click on that because I don't want to accidentally cancel the worker. Probably also at some point need to talk to the wife today. Just to say hello. I think it's been like three or four days since I've chatted up with her. Those two fields are done. Almost got a full trailer of grain from those two fields. And we can see this guy going to town on that field right there. I also hired uh, a worker to plant canola way over here. As you can see, he's still going to town as well. So the question now becomes is right here. Someone can plow that field. All right, that works. I gotta get rid of that star, it's gonna drive me nuts. I'm looking for a tractor coming around the corner somewhere. Where's he coming from? He's coming from way down here. Alright. Now that we're out of this field as well, although there's too much crap going on here, plow the field. So I can hire workers to plow these two fields. So 
So that will help out tremendously. But we're on up, going up to the sell point to get us closer to that 1 million euro mark again. As you can see those two fields we just got shy of uh, 16,000 kilograms which would fill the trailer. These four fields up here are re going to require more work from us. That's uh, barley. It's barley right? Is it barley or wheat? It is barley. So uh, we may be able to, I want to hire one worker for one of these fields because I want to see if he gives me the option of what where, what sell point to sell the wheat and barley at. Because wheat and barley you can sell at two points, which is here in the old mill. And I don't know if it gives, if when I click on it, it's going to give me the option to do so. But we'll find that out in a few days time. But right now, let's watch this money go up. And it shouldn't, uh, will it bring us to a million euros? It, it actually might. Actually, at this point, I'm going to say it is. So, <laughs> uh, just get back over that hump again after buying all those fields a few weeks ago. Did I not hit the button to go down? And we are empty. Just got us over the the million euro mark. Let's grab a hamburger. Sorry now we're, we are maxed out in workers. Which is just fine. The guy planting soy shouldn't take him that long. But we need to head on down to the field and start harvesting the field, the lower field where I couldn't hire a worker. One thing I will say about hiring help to do the harvesting, I'm glad I don't pay them by the hour because, uh, yeah, they're kind of slow. So I hired that guy before I started harvesting. I've done those two fields and this third one and bought a load up to the sell point. Okay, granted this field is uh, it's a hectare and a half give or take. If I add all these three fields up, I probably got over two and a half hectares. And he's still got 14% more of this field to do. Just saying. But <laughs> it's work that we don't have. Well, I shouldn't say we don't have. Yeah, we don't have to do it. Not that it'd be difficult, but it's getting done. Oh, what I wanted to do as well. Uh, first off, is this guy done? Yes, yeah, this guy's done over here, so I can hire one more helper. Maybe. $74 to plow the field. Cannot find a worker to do that. That's fine. Small field, so... What I can try to do after I harvest this field, see if I can get someone to plow the field. Uh, I've had some people on the forum say that they couldn't get someone to harvest the field, but they could plow it, or they wouldn't plow or cultivate it, but they'll harvest it. Just keep trying fields and see what happens. So that's what we'll, when I get done with harvesting this field, I'll see if I can hire someone to plow this field as well. If not, if I only got to plow two of the five fields, that still saves a lot of time. Well, I'm assuming I can hire someone to plow the field that that guy's harvesting right there. Having the workers is just a bonus. As we can see, our money is still rising nicely. So maybe we'll get somewhere close to uh, 20 grand over the million euro mark today. 
And I kind of already forgot what we start. Uh, somewhere around 980. So maybe we'll get 40 grand from doing these five, uh, yeah, five fields today. But I do like the immersion of seeing another harvester or another worker in other fields working. I'm just itching for another update. So <laughs> we've been so used to updates in this game, at least. Well, when it first came out, it was every week there were updates easily. Then, of course, as they started adding uh, more of the core game, the heavy duty stuff like the helper system or or what what have you, it's taken a few weeks in between. And it's only been about two weeks since the helper system has been in the game, so uh, like I, I've been saying many times in these episodes, uh, I'm hoping the devs are working on the some of the bugs that are in the game and some touch-ups before maybe they add stuff. Kind of like the harvester. Uh, my harvester resets the default painting every time I restart the game. So it would be nice to uh, paint the harvester and have a state of color that I would prefer. But right now, every time I restart the game, I use a harvester. I just randomly pick a color. And today I decided to match the header. Instead of changing the header and the harvester, I just match the header. Actually, it looks like this field is yielding quite nicely. we we'll have to go up and grab the tractor and trailer shortly. I'll try to get around as much as I can to the uh, tractor and trailer, so we don't have to go as far. But being able to only hold 500 more grains, it's not going to be able to get too far. How big is this field? Two hectares almost right on the nose. Alright. We're getting close to overfilling it. So let's jump in. Gotta be careful what I click on because I don't want to accidentally cancel the worker. Although for how much he's done it wouldn't take me that long to finish up as well. But see the bug right there is you can see the harvester working. He doesn't have the header down. Minor details like that. Got a worker plow in that field. We're just about done harvesting this field. Uh, the two guys over the... Oh, the two workers. I keep saying guys. Two workers over the field have finished plowing that. And I hire two people to cultivate it as well. Uh, I want to see how it comes out by workers plowing and then cultivating if they do take out the little furrows that the plow leaves that the workers did. Uh, if it didn't, it only cost me like 200 euros to get both fields cultivated. I think one was like $101, the other one was like $87. So it's not even $200 to get it cultivated. So if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it's something we can cultivate ourselves. Uh, uh, this field has yielded very well. I had to bring up a trailer load of grain to empty it because... We're about getting ready to close to... Well, we're not going to fill it again, but we're going to be probably like 90% full. Something like that. But yes, we're done harvesting today. So you can see I got a good amount of green in there already. And we got like uh, just shy of 3,000 in here now. Alright, so maybe 80%. Close enough, right? So when the worker plows a field... He's got a few fur furrows in there, but not many. But let's bring the harvester kind of back up to the barn. Or at least the top of the hill here. And then when I come back down, grab that trailer, and leave the field, I'll see if I can hire someone to plow it. 
usually for me, if I can't get one worker to work in the field, what whatever it is, I can't hire them at any time. So we got Bert and Ernie over here harvesting, yeah, harvesting, uh, cultivating those fields. Let's jump down to the tractor here. So we can go back up to the cell point and watch the money rise. But just as we get out of the field like we are now and get on the road. I doubt we're going to get someone to cultivate it. Uh, not cultivate it. Sorry, I need to plow it. Alright, no, no surprise there. So, looks like tomorrow on the farm we'll be plowing uh, two fields ourselves of the five. Which, hey, that's, <laughs> that's more than fine. And uh, we'll see how uh, these guys cultivate these fields. And then if it took out the furrows in the field, then uh, maybe we'll get, hire someone to start planting some seed as well. So maybe by the end of tomorrow, we'll have all those five fields replanted. And get ourselves ready to get these four fields up here done. But as you can see, it is getting late in the day. Those two are having a conversation. Don't want to run them over. That'd be kind of rude. So if we didn't have any hired help today, um, I'd just be getting to that other 1.61 hectare field and harvesting that. And it's, it almost being uh, uh, 7 o'clock at night. Yeah, we'd be working rather late. I wouldn't have those other two, uh, well, I'll have three fields plowed and two cultivated as well. So we're getting a lot done today. There's a lot of help from the workers. So I was hoping to get 20 grand over the million euro mark today and that's not a problem. We uh, had a very good yield from those uh, that lower field. Are we even going to get to may even get to 30 grand over? I doubt it though. It's going to be just short, right? Yep, yeah, just short. But it's all good. Um, we got the money. What we're going to do with it, I don't know. <laughs> I know someone's going to probably say, "Well, buy more fields." The fields I can buy all the fields in the game right now, and uh, I don't think we drop below uh, five hundred thousand. Because we do own thirty fields, twenty-ish fields, something like that. Hey Maya. So let's go park the trailer in a parking lot. And what we got for fuel in here? We're doing fine for fuel. Um, probably. Uh, I gotta figure out what the plow is. Is I think the plow might be up in the parking lot. We'll hook up the plow to it. And we'll at least go park the trailer down at that small field. We'll probably start plowing the small field tomorrow first to get us warmed up. Uh, I may have time to still talk to the wife as well. Couldn't tell which way the plow was facing. And if you haven't seen this yet, if you're kind of new to the channel, welcome to our magic plow. When you hook it up, it's going to change color. Right in front of your eyes. So I'm kind of thinking I may plant some soy in these five fields. We just had lupine in them, so maybe just soy. And 
and these fields will be ready in uh, sometime in August that is good enough for us uh, be careful what I click on oh good she's still up she hasn't mown the lawn yet that's something that we're gonna have to do yeah get that weed got a few thousand more to go though hi honey it's kind of more evening there sweetheart nice to see you love how are you Yep. Hopefully you've been taking care of the cows, which I'm sure she has been. Darling. This is one bug. Well, it's not a bug. I just wish they keep me in the dialogue instead of having to keep uh, keep really going back in and saying hello today. to her. Yeah, she better like me good enough. We've been married like a couple of years now. Hi, honey. Back into the dialogue. I just want to see what you say about this nice place to live. I'm off to work. It's like eight o'clock at night, dude. This is a really nice place to live. Could use a mall or two, though. Yes, or it is nice, and all good folk living here. She speaks. I'm not going to say, say thanks, see you around, or I'm off to work, have a great day. Uh, I guess I got to say something, huh? What would it say we're off to work? Off to work. I can't, I can't just exit out of dialogue. I thought I could. Really, she's thinking, uh, it's 8 o'clock at night, where are you going? Need to shut the fence, because we brought the harvester out this way today. What's her track? Oh, she's got full, cleaned and full of fuel. And... Yeah, we could fill that tanker up, but no need to. We only, we're still at 21%. So these guys are doing nicely. It looks like they're take, taking out the furrows. So we'll let them do do their thing. I like how it says 100% plow, but you did miss a few spots there. But hey, stats are all that matter. Same thing here. So those fields will be ready to be sown tomorrow with soy. Yeah, the extra thing about when you hire them to plant, you don't have to use your seed, they use their own. And tomorrow when this guy gets done plowing, because when I go to bed, they're not going to finish their job overnight. But we'll hire someone to cultivate this as well. Why we plow. So basically tomorrow we'll work in these two fields ourselves. Uh, plow and start to cultivate. And maybe those fields will be done cultivating. This one will start cultivating. We'll start sowing those fields with soy. Sowing with soy. And we'll put soy in this field as well. Um... Soy does pay decently, but the uh, the yield really kind of sucks. So, <laughs> but you know, we're not in it for the money anymore. Uh, it is nice to see the money go up, but you know, I, I like changing up the crops and uh, keep it interesting. I don't want to keep. I mean, if I were to really do it just for the money, probably just plant, keep planting canola, 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 canola. That seems to be, do I think that does the best, in my opinion. Uh, you've seen the spring clean out, how the winter canola does. That does wonders, so. Just checking things out. Everything looks good here. But that's where we're going to call an episode today, guys. Uh, I do appreciate you watching. And hopefully you did enjoy the episode. And wipes in bed. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.